Welcome to Movie Lover News. I'm your host, Tyron Rubin. I'm doing the show with Alex, and we're bringing you the number one movie news show on earth. We've had a bit of a one month break from Movie Lover News. We've been sorting out a couple of things, Alex and myself, but know that we're going to be ready to carry on bringing you regular movie news the best way we can. And I would also like to thank all the subscribers on YouTube, all the people who've been commenting. You can always get hold of Alex and myself either through our website movieloverenews.com or email us through YouTube, get me on Facebook, catch us on Twitter. So any questions, any shows you want us to do, just let us know. Sam Rockwell is joining Brad Pitt in writer-director Andrew Dominic's comedic crime saga, Kogan's Trade. Sam Rockwell and Brad Pitt were together in Andrew Dominic's film The Assassination of Jesse James by the coward Robert Ford. There's a couple of early reports that suggest that Casey Affleck, Josh Brolin, Javier Bardem, Bill Murray, Mark Ruffalo and Zoe Saldana could join the cast. More likely it's looking like Javier Bardem maybe. It's looking more definite that Casey Affleck will join Sam Rockwell and Brad Pitt in Kogan's trade. In more recent talks, James Gangolfini's name came up. Deadline admits it's not certain but implies that James Gangolfini and the filmmaker are talking about a role. And as mentioned, it's said that Casey Affleck could be a definite to star in this film. Harvey Weinstein reportedly won a bidding war with a pledge of $20 million for printing and advertising this film. So the Weinstein Company have committed to release this film in 2012. Kogan's Trade is based on George V. Higgins' novel. Andrew Dominic's adapting the screenplay, where Brad Pitt will play a professional enforcer who investigates a heist that takes place during high stakes poker game which was held under the protection of the mob. Kogan's Trade is said to be a top-notch crime novel rated by the New Yorker as the best from the Balzac of the Boston underworld. Crackling dialogue, mordant humor, and unremitting tension drive the suspenseful stakes of the game higher in Boston's precarious underworld of small-time mobsters, crooked lawyers, and politicians as George V. Higgins tracks Jackie Kogan's career in a gangland version of law and order. Kogan is an enforcer and when the mob's rules get broken he gets hired to ply his trade which is murder. Kogan is called in when a high stakes card game under the protection of the mob is heisted. Expertly Kogan moves with reliable precision to restore the status quo. I'm a huge fan of the director of this film Andrew Dominic. He wrote and directed a film called Chopper in 2000, which was about the legendary criminal Mark Chopper Reed, and Eric Banner played the role of Mark Chopper Reed. And it's a gritty, brilliant film. Mark Chopper's performance played by Eric Banner is incredible. It's one of the most visceral performances I've seen in a long time, and that film was made quite a while ago in 2000, so if you haven't seen Chopper, then Andrew Dominic wrote the screenplay and directed the film The Assassination of Jesse James by the coward Robert Ford based on the novel by Ron Hansen which had Brad Pitt playing Jesse James, Casey Affleck playing Robert Ford, Sam Rockwell playing Charlie Ford and Jeremy Renner playing Wood Height. The film was nominated for two Oscars in 2008, one for cinematography by Roger Deakins and for a best supporting acting role for Casey Affleck. It's also said that Andrew Dominic is making a film Blonde which is set around Marilyn Monroe's biography. He's set to write the screenplay and direct that film based on the novel by Joyce Carol Oates and it's said that Naomi Watts is possibly up for Marilyn Monroe. Brad Pitt who's playing the lead in Kogan's Trade is in some great films at the moment coming out. He's in Terence Malick's film which Terence Malick wrote and directed called The Tree of Life where Brad Pitt plays Mr. O'Brien, Sean Penn plays Jack. The story centers around a family with three boys in the 1950s, where the eldest son witnesses the loss of innocence. The trailer's out for this film. It's due out on the 27th of May, and it looks like it's possibly going to be a masterpiece. Another great film Brad Pitt's in is Moneyball, which is due out on the 23rd of September. 
It's been directed by Bennett Miller based on the great book by Michael Lewis where Brad Pitt will play Billy Bean. So that's Moneyball out for Brad Pitt and The Tree of Life. Sam Rockwell can be next seen in Cowboys and Aliens by director John Favreau. The trailer's also out. There's going to be a Super Bowl spot for that film, Cowboys and Aliens. It looks brilliant. And it's to be released on the 29th of July this year. At the moment, Kogan's Trade is in pre-production. And as I said, it should be out in 2012. The cinematographer for Kogan's Trade is Greg Frazier, who was the cinematographer for Let Me In, which was beautifully shot and Snow White and the Huntsman, which has been directed by Rupert Saunders. That's to be released on the 21st of December. So, all in all, on my excitement meter, Kogan's Trade sits on the highest level. It's a 10 out of 10 on my personal excitement meter. I've loved all of Andrew Dominic's films, pairing Andrew Dominic back with Brad Pitt and Sam Rockwell, and it's possibly going to star Casey Affleck and a couple of other actors joining the cast soon. So it looks like a gritty, comedic film, really suited for Andrew Dominic, and I'm extremely excited about this film. And we'll carry on reporting on Kogan's Trade. Thanks for watching Movie Lover News. You can catch our shows. We're back on YouTube and on the website, movieloverenews.com. Thanks for watching. I'm your host, Tyron Rubin, doing the show with Alex. Thank you.